case you guys hadn't realized, I'm classically trained. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're looking at the Lemonade Mouth cast, Where Are They Now? King Boomer, it is a great honor. I am King Vaz of Mindu. Hi. Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm Megan, your roommate. For this list, we'll be looking at what the cast of the movie's been up to since its 2011 release. Which of these actors is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 7. Nick Rue Brannigan told us we don't get our full set at the Halloween bash. After playing mudslide crush turned lemonade mouth member Scott Pickett in the movie, Rue starred in the short lived TV show Jane by Design as Billy. What is this? What are you talking about? This? Us? Sneaking around for the past three months. Apart from that, his television credits have largely consisted of guest spots on various shows. They include Wizards of Waverly Place, where he appeared as Chase for two episodes. I just thought it would look nice on you. Pretty Little Liars, where he played Riley for one episode. Got into Berkeley College of Music. And Young and Hungry, where he was Cam for one episode. The actor has also racked up a few movie credits, including roles in Tomato Red, Jackals, The Reunion, and Mantervention. However, according to IMDb, Rue's last project was in 2017. Fans can follow him on Twitter and Instagram, though he doesn't have a huge social media presence. Number 6. Chris Brochu Brochu played Ray Beach, Mudslide Crush's lead vocalist in the 2011 movie. Since then, he's pursued both television and film. On the small screen, he had a recurring role as Luke Parker on the hit drama The Vampire Diaries, where he appeared in 14 episodes. What the hell did you just do? Oh, I just gave my big sister a little magic knock on the head, but don't worry. He's also guest starred in a variety of shows, including Melissa and Joey, Dynasty, and Shameless. As for the big screen, the actor has appeared in such films as the 2014 thriller High School Possession and the 2018 comedy Baja. Guys, I have the most epic idea. Why don't we all go down to Cabo with Brian? More recently, he played Ash in the war movie Recon. He has a YouTube channel showcasing his music and life updates, as well as a Calendly page where he offers acting, guitar, and songwriting lessons. Hustle every day, make money my own way. Number 5. Blake Michael Charlie. Following his part as drummer Charlie Delgado in Lemonade Mouth, Michael was cast in the Disney Channel show centered around a pup who can talk, Dog with a Blog. You wouldn't tell Dad Stan can talk. I have 15 cheerleaders coming over. You have no idea what I'm capable of. He played Tyler James for the entirety of the show's run. Where's the rest of the family? Uh, they went out for ice cream. So, they're not coming back for a while? <sighs> nope. I'm walking on the couch! And while that's probably the most substantial role he's had as of late, it isn't his only one. In 2018, he played Curtis in six episodes of Voltron Legendary Defender. As for movies, Michael played Chase in the 2015 Lifetime film I Killed My BFF, Vance Van Sickle in the 2017 thriller The Student, Prove my case. What you did was tantamount to cheating. You think you can fail me? And Pete in the 2019 drama Princess of the Row. Outside of acting, he's the chief evangelist at the company Lumanu and the CEO of 14 Media Group. Number four, Adam Hicks. After taking the stage as Lemonade Mouth's pianist Wen Gifford, every time I rhyme, I'm in Lemonade Mouth. We don't learn to wait. We get on stage and determine. Hicks continued his work in the Disney universe. After finishing up his stint as Luther in Zeke and Luther, the actor went on to portray King Boz in Pair of Kings. King Boomer, it is a great honor. I am King Boz of Nindu. Then he moved past the network. He's since been in films like Up on the Wooftop. Sheesh, everyone's so sensitive around here. The Boy Next Door, Little Savages, Windsor, and Shifting Gears. I want to go to community college and take the mechanics program. <laughs> he also played Diesel in the TV show Freakish. But Hicks has had multiple run-ins with the law. 
In 2017, he was arrested twice, once for discharging a weapon and once for battery, though he wasn't charged for either crime. In 2018, he found himself in trouble again when he was arrested for multiple armed robberies. Oh, wow. Yeah. Doctor said it should be gone in a couple days. Number three, Naomi Scott. Scott was the actress behind Mohini Banjari, Lemonade Mouth's bassist. And since then, she's gone on to really make a name for herself. On the music front, she has two EPs, Invisible Division and Promises, as well as a slew of singles. And she hasn't slowed down in the acting department either. Scott was Maddie in the TV show Terra Nova, Escarlet in the 2015 drama The 33, Kimberly in the 2017 Power Rangers movie, and Elena in the 2019 Charlie's Angels film. Excuse me, who is that? But what she's perhaps most recognized for today is her portrayal of Princess Jasmine in the 2019 Aladdin remake. Thank you. And thank you for getting me out of there. Aladdin, isn't it? In that part, her acting and singing chops were on full display, and the range of her talent shone through. A whole new world. Number two, Haley Kiyoko. Since bringing guitar player Stella Yamada to life, Kiyoko has proven how much range she has through the different projects she's taken on. Olivia, we've rehearsed these songs a million times. We've put everything we have in these songs. In 2015 alone, she was in Insidious Chapter 3 and Gem and the Holograms. Throughout the years, she's also had smaller roles on shows like The Fosters, The Vampire Diaries, and Insecure. Uh, who are you? Well, I'm Megan, your roommate. Plus, she starred in CSI Cyber as Raven and played Lexi in the Facebook Watch series Five Points. Why are you stalking me, CJ? Why do you hide behind so much eyeliner? And that's only some of the work she's done. Plus, her music career is thriving. Her latest EP, titled I'm Too Sensitive for This Shit, came out in 2020. Not to mention, she had a cameo in Taylor Swift's You Need to Calm Down music video. Simply put, Kyoko's made it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Bridget Mendler. Cause I'm right here. Can you listen? After playing Olivia White, Lemonade Mouth's talented singer, Mendler continued starring in Good Luck Charlie is Teddy the role she's best known for. Hey, Charlie. Last video diary. Here we go. Notably, she then played Candace in the television series Undateable. I am proud to present you with the keys to your new house! <laughs> the actress also landed the role of Emmy in the 2019 Netflix show Mary Happy Whatever, which was sadly canceled. Matt, come on, we're making a fire. Come watch Elf with me and Kayla. She also appeared in the 2018 flick Father of the Year. This sucks. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I set my expectations low for you. And that's just a fraction of her acting credits. Additionally, she's continued to pursue singing, releasing one studio album and two EPs. Mendler has academic inclinations as well. In 2018, she announced she was headed to MIT, and in 2019, she posted a picture of a Harvard Law School course packet. We can't wait to see what she does next. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.